What's up you guys, Gideon Vassi here. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. It is going to be a rather short one, but rather precise to point because there's a couple of things going on in the market. I wanted to make sure that it gets delivered to you as soon as possible. So here's what we have right now. And for those of you who aren't aware, AMC is having a massive growth for a number of reasons. A lot of people who are being bearish, shorting the company and a lot others who are holding it and who are buying more. So there is a little battle going between the two. And obviously that is impacting the price of the company. And it's actually impacting for the better because in the previous video that I said, a lot of short sellers actually lost more than one and a half billion dollars on uh, covering their short positions, which is a massive news for the ones who are uh, bidding for uh, AMC's uh, price surge. So that's actually a great news. And we can see right now that the price of a company is actually around $32, which is a massive news, 20% up within a day. And for within one week, they've been up about 80%, which is also phenomenal. And oh, something that I wanted to talk in this video is specifically about the CEO of AMC, Adam Aaron, who is actually tweeting saying that today we are now selling 8.5 million AMC shares at a price of $27 each. And that is actually 1.7% of our outstanding shares and a small portion of our typical trading volume. So they're kind of uh, backing themselves up by this statement. And they're saying that this would give up access to about $230 million of cash. So that would be primarily used for the growth of the company, which is a massive news. I mean, this is obviously beneficial when a company has a cash ton of cash actually for their uh, for their disposal and they obviously can spend it for, to grow the business. And here's how they're getting it right. So they are selling some of their uh, stock price because they know that uh, the market is uh, giving a very favorable price and they are using this position to actually uh, uh, generate some money instead of actually uh, getting some debt, they are actually selling their uh, some of the shares outstanding to get some cash access to build their business. So what I wanted to talk about is uh, having a cash access is actually a massive thing, especially for the ones who are bidding for the company's prosperity, because uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, bearish cases that the AMC stock going down and all that stuff. I am not the believer of that. I do think the, co the company will recover from uh, from the lows that they had. And I think we are actually uh, in the stage of reopening and that is actually putting AMC in a very great position and having uh, 230 million of cash for the disposal. It's actually a great news for the company's prosperity. And on the other side, I, although I thought it would be just used for the company to be uh, on just above the waters, just to exist. However, it seems like the company uh, on this article, actually, that the company would be using that cash, 230 million towards its acquisition. So the company is going more offense instead of defense. So actually, that would that's actually a very good scenario where the AMC, the company would not only just be steadying the business, but actually grow bigger within within the industry. So absolutely love it. I am the holder of AMC as well. So that's actually a great news. However, one thing that I wanted to mention that a lot of people are forgetting to do, it's this. So we know that uh, AMC is getting this much uh, access to cash, 230 million, selling 8.5 million shares to who? To Mudra Capital, to this, uh, C this article actually covers it. So Mudra Capital bought 8.5 million shares of AMC, then reportedly sold them off for a profit. This is alarming, guys. And a lot of people are forgetting to talk about this, but uh, this could be that something shady. I don't, I don't like this. I, I mean, usually when a company buys a stock, they don't sell it this quick. And between the sell-off and uh, buying, I don't think there was a lot of time in between. And there is something shady going on. And I just want to make sure that if you're an AMC holder, make sure that you are aware and actually uh, know that this is going to be a very risky trade. There could be a lot of opportunities and there are because there could be a massive squeeze coming up. But the fact that Merger Capital is selling uh, their holdings, it's actually alarming. And I personally do not like it. And as we said, the company's price is around $30 uh, per share, which is amazing. And we uh, on coming from the previous video that there is a potential squeeze coming up. So definitely uh, make sure that you are uh, you're looking for that and just just staying on the market. But one thing is definitely do not lose your side because a lot of things are happening in the market. So make sure that you are acting accordingly. On another note, uh, 
this merger capital selling off, it's uh, it's a negative sign. However, the positive sign is that them going uh, using this 230 million, them being AMC towards their acquisitions, which is a great deal. And that actually uh, got to me as well that uh, I knew that something like this would come overall that the AMC would prosper and I do actually own some of the shares as well as I mentioned so a lot of things coming up make sure making sure that you are you guys are aware of this let me know what you guys think more videos to come peace talk to you later